I chose this symbol to be what represents whatever I create because I didn't resonate with any other name. I didn't resonate with any word. It represents creation. So the Sundrop Garden is just a, you could say framework or a concrete playground where I can put whatever I create into and um, see it as an evolution of music growing and transforming and I am also transforming within the values that I planted in this seed which is the symbol. So the symbol is a seed, it can also be a, um, a ripple effect, it can be anything growing, it can be atoms revolving, it can be quantum physics, it could be the big bang in a way that I want to create something as all beings do and um, at some point you're just gonna go as all beings do also. As an Asian American growing up in America, um, my blood is full on Filipina. First, I was looking for the true Filipina who wasn't conquered by Spain and Japan and, and America and just like de deleted our history and everything like that. And then once I found the original Filipino, I wanted to go deeper. I found out that there's something even deeper than that, which is the roots, literal coming back to your roots. And, uh, and there is the seed. And that is actually not a national thing. That's universal. I didn't realize at the time, but music was really just an ex expression of our DNA. Um, it's an expression of who we are on the DNA level. Music was definitely a helpful tool to navigate all the things that I didn't know about myself because sometimes it helps me even to get through things and it's like a message for me to remember. It's almost like recording history as well um, for me to remember where I've come from and to not forget important things that I've learned. What made us bond together is that it was effortless and that we were just enriching each other without trying, really. We were just talking and, uh, and really both getting something out of it. Every, I don't know, two, three months, we just, we just improvise music here in the studio. And, um, and that's kind of what makes up common projects and, uh, and the rest of the time we're just working on our own stuff and uh, both of us and not only music in, in many other domains um, especially her because she's she has a lot a lot of things she's interested she accumulates like all this knowledge that she's been geeking on growing your own food or gr or making your own clothes or knowing what tree is what um, what roots do what 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 leaves do what in terms of healing yourself or building a house or making baskets or um, or making a kitchen or using the dirt for 
for soil or for makeup or um, um The good word is that she opens perspective to people. So people who might have been in this kind of state uh, before meeting her and, and the fact that she has all these ideas and all this, this, this knowledge about not music but many, many things in, in sort of a lifestyle and her idea of what a life should be, it's opening perspective in, in other people. I like her confidence for sure because she she really seemed to really know where she was going. A seed knows what it wants to become, what it is already and what it will be. It's not going to be a rose seed and then become a sunflower or something. You are what you are and with today's world, we're constantly being fed what people want us to be and uh, giving us the surroundings that they want us to have. Sometimes it's hard to acknowledge that, especially when you're living in that world. Gain confidence in, in that knowing of what you are and then focus all of your energies on growing to your fullest potential. So not getting caught up with things that don't actually have anything to do with you. You just focus on on your growth, on your path, and it just doesn't matter what the fuck else is happening really. Because um, everything is gonna pass anyways, including you. <laughs> so, what was the question? <laughs>